Hi there, I'm Wayne Purser, a local realtor with Cobalt Banker Bain Real Estate Services. Downtown Edmonds, just footsteps from the fountain, uh, helping you, your friends or family through real estate needs. Uh, it's a great time to live in the Northwest, currently with low interest rates and job growth continues to make the real estate market uh, heat up and people wanting to move here to the Edmonds area in South Snohomish County. So what we're going to talk about today is I have a special guest, Jeff Spry with Hawks Eye Home Inspection. We're also going to talk about the Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report and then finally we'll wrap up with a question from a person on the street. Uh, right now I'd like to introduce my guest, Jeff Spry with Hawks Eye Home Inspection. Welcome. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Great. Uh, buyers and sellers want to know, or basically buyers do have inspections, but nowadays with all the multiple offers, things are going on, real estate professionals are advising sellers to also get a home inspection. But right now I'd like to focus on why is it important for a buyer to have a home inspection? Well, in my opinion, the most important reason is going to be peace of mind. You really want to know what you're purchasing. Um, when a home inspector comes over, he's going to be looking at structural issues and safety issues, and those are the main concerns. Uh, we're going to be everywhere in the house from the roof to the crawl space, looking at the plumbing, the electrical, the furnace, all of the, all of the major items in the home. Um, while we're up in, the, up in the attic, we're going to be looking at the trusses or rafter system. We're going to be, you know, down in the crawl space looking at the joists, looking to see, to check for insulation, looking for items like mold, um, any kind of rodent invasion. We're basically going to be everywhere in the home that nobody really wants to go. Right. And, and with that, if you do find some defects, are there certain uh, other vendors or other contractors that you would have? To help the home buyer? Oh, definitely. Any home inspector is going to hopefully have a wide variety of and network of anybody, you know, any sort of tradespeople mm -hmm. that, that the buyer is going to require um, the needs for. Right. And uh, for buyers, for me, they, they come up with their concern about safety and health issues. How do you address those that are currently in a house that is 40 years old? but not built to today's standards. Right, and this is a real, really popular topic. Um, you know, homes, homes built back in the day just aren't up to snuff as, as far as today's standards go. So um, the average 40s home is not gonna have GFCI outlets. It may have some knob and tube wiring. Um, it may not have, you know, a correct fire delay wall um, compared to today's build standards. Correct. So then, then you're talking about, well, should we have this, you know, evaluated further by a professional in this trade just to make sure that it's safe? That's, in my opinion, the biggest reason for a home inspection and to really evaluate the home is for safety issues. Right. So. And, and uh, with sellers, now a little bit of sellers that are being proactive of getting their house listed. So uh, is the process similar or a little bit different? It is similar. Um, sometimes it can go a little bit quicker if the seller's there um, and we can, we can bounce things off of the seller to find out exactly, you know. So there's a little bit of an advantage to a seller's inspection um, in that regard from a home inspector's point of view. The advantage is actually huge when it comes to getting a seller's inspection. For the amount of money spent and the information gained, you're able to fix everything that you know is going to come up on, on the buyer's inspection. So you can get it taken care of, you know, in plenty of time so that you're not on a last minute rush. Right. I know that in the past, uh, for me, with sellers doing a pre-inspection, actually having the inspection report on the kitchen table when buyers and the buyer's agents come so they can see that they've been proactive yep. and so helpful from an uh, inspector. So um, at the end, I know that I uh, asked buyers to ask you a question right. and uh, you've been able to answer it pretty well. And the, I asked them to ask you, would you let your mom live here? Yep, you're real good at that one. And, and uh, it's pretty funny because a lot of times the buyers will be thinking that they're being sneaky and they'll say, hey, Wayne told me to ask you this. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it what, is a good question though. Yeah, what it's able to do is that you're able then to educate them on what the repairs would cost right. and how many man days or contractor days and and so they're really not leaving afraid that the house is going to fall down but it's a good house right and that's where i really enjoy working with you because as far as real estate agents go you're really big on educating the buyer and that's that's basically what my complete job is is educating the buyer on the home that they're purchasing 
want to want to they want to be familiar with every single system what's going to work and I'm always able to tell them hey you know look Wayne's Wayne's somebody that is going to push for your education whether you want to know it or not right <laughs> so and it is very important you know you want to so, know what you're purchasing okay and uh, how would we be able to reach you uh, well, by cell is probably the easiest. I book inspections all day long at okay. 206-234-7779. I also have a website, hawksi.org, and then um, an email okay. address. So Super. Well, yeah. thank you very much, Jeff. Again, I'd like to thank Jeff Spry, or my special guest today from Hawksi Home Inspection. And now we're going to be moving on to our next segment, which would be the Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report. Welcome back. We're going to talk now about the current Edmonds real estate weather reports for May 2015. In Edmonds, in the 020, that's 98020, uh, sales were 36 last month in May. It's up from May of 2014. Listings are 69. They're also up for the month with a time on the market, days on market is about 40 days. That gives us a weather temperature of about 87 degrees. South Snohomish County is going to include Linwood, Briar, Mount Lake Terrace, Muckleteo. Sales are 304 sales. There also is up from May of 2014 and current listings of 462 is up also with 30 days on the market. So in that area it's a little bit hotter, homes are selling quicker, has a 90 degree temperature. City of Shoreline has sales of 97, which is equal to 2014, and also listings were equal uh, from 2014 at 128, with the average days on market of 40, which gives it a weather temperature of 87 degrees. Uh, a little bit about the 2015 sales are starting to outpace from a year ago. The prediction was to have lower sales this year, but that's not what's happening. Um, Real estate inventory remains to be low and seasonality of the market once commonplace no longer applies. Any time is the right time to sell a home, buyers are ready. So currently listings in King, Pierce and Snohomish County are all seeing phenomenal traffic at open houses. Buyers have been advised, I've also done that with my buyers, to broaden their search criteria when looking for a home in order to get into a home now if they want to take advantage of the low interest rates. That wraps up the Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report. And now we're going to take a question from a person on the street. Wayne, my uncle just passed away. How do I help my aunt find the value of her home? Thank you for the question. When there's a passing of a family member, it's always best to find out from your attorney if you would need to have uh, a property evaluation, what the current home is worth, to protect the assets of the family and or the estate. I get contacted by attorneys, family members, or friends of the family to help in this process. So if you know of someone that needs to get some advice in real estate, please have them contact me. That wraps up our edition for this month. We look forward to seeing you next month on Spotlight on Edmonds Real Estate.